Hello, Twinks and Brunettes, and welcome to Pleasant View, Where Are They Now, 80 Years Later. Yes, it's been 30 years in game since the first time that I've done this. My first ever video was actually my Pleasant View overview, so this is like a um, logical continuation of that. If you've never seen my Pleasant View video, if you've not been following the three seasons of video that I've made, first of all, okay second of all um well it's okay because i'm going to explain everything you don't need to watch it to understand i'm very aware that the 10,000 people that watched my first video have not watched the three seasons of pleasant view episodes that i've made and that's okay you know it's all fair game it's all good if you've not seen the first video though the first uh, pleasant view presentation the 50 years later one i would advise you to at least skim through it because this might get a bit confusing. I'm not gonna let it get confusing on purpose. I'm going to try to be very concise and clear and complete with my explanations, but that might, you know, I, I, I don't know if I'll actually succeed. And the reason why this is 80 years later is that since I've finished my third season and ended my Pleasant View, um, well, I guess, series, I have played an entire other season in all of my households. Yes. <laughs> and the reason I'm doing this video now is because I want to keep playing. And if I don't do this now, it's going to be way too late. And <laughs> my Pleasant View is going to be unrecognizable. So I need to do it right now while it's still time. I thought it would be smart to start with the base families and basically go like a family tree and show all the families that have descended from these base families. And I'll go in order of what the Prima Guide recommends you play when you start a fresh Pleasant View. So Dawn, Lothario first, if I'm not mistaken. If I remember correctly, it's, it's Lothario and then Goth and then Caliente, I think. But... Maybe it's the opposite. Maybe it's Caliente before Goth. And you know what? I'm not going to Google it. I'll do it quickly though, because I'm going to get bored of this really quickly. So Dawn married Cassandra. They had two children. They had Fallon. In between having Fallon and their second child, they got divorced. Cassandra married Darren. She had a child with him as well. And then he cheated on her as well. And they divorced as well. And then Cassandra went back to Dawn and they had another kid. And that other kid is Jenna. So they have Fallon and Jenna together. I did that really quickly, I'm proud of myself. Okay, let's keep going. Cassandra's child with Darren is Harley. Then with the Goth family, Mortimer married Dina. They had twins together, Chester and Bryony. Alexander got with Lilith because of my aging system. Uh, well, my aging mod, technically, they were the same age. It's not creepy. And they also had twins together, Vivian and Thomason. And now I'm going to start showing you the people that I'm talking about since I think it's going to be easier to picture in your head. So Fallon is already dead. Rip, you know, <laughs> rip. Jenna is here. That's Jenna. And Harley's here. That's Harley. And now that's Thomason here, Alexander's daughter. And that's Vivian, Alexander's other daughter. And unfortunately, I would love to show you Chester and Bryony, but they are both here. Well, I can show you them in the cemetery, but I will not be able to show you their faces because yes, I left the series with both of them alive and they've both died um, in the spring round. I'm not sure where they are. Oh yeah, Je Chester is up here and Bryony is down here next to her husband that had died a bit before she did. Then in the order would be the Calientes. Well, you know that Dina had twins. Nina didn't have any children. She did get married to Bella, which was nice, but she herself didn't have any children. Then I would go and play the Dreamer family, I think. Uh, Darren, as I said before, had a daughter with Cassandra, Harley, this right here. But he also broke the marriage of Jennifer and John and got married to Jennifer when he divorced Cassandra and together they had a daughter, Kimberly, right here. And don't ask who this man next to her is, I will explain. Kimberly was married to Chester, Dina and Mortimer's son, for quite a while, they had a daughter together, Fate, that's right here. And then they got divorced because Chester was cheating on Kimberly and then married again as elders and now Chester's dead. So, you know, Kimberly's moving on as she should have, you know. <laughs> I didn't choose 
that she married him again. She wanted to. Yeah, I didn't want her to, but she, she did. So that's it. And Faith is living with both of her boyfriends and she's currently pregnant. So yes, that's another thing that's happened. But again, I will talk about that more later. Then I would go and play the Broke family. So Brandy and Skip's children, Dustin, Bo, and Drew. Drew is now passed away deceased unfortunately he was one of my favorite sims so that really hurt i took a screenshot and named it i'm gonna be honest that one hurts mr krabs and it really fucking does um <laughs> so now well he used to live in the trailer but he doesn't anymore he's not there anymore but uh yeah dustin married lucy had three children with her once again because of my aging mod they were the same age it's not creepy then <laughs> Bo married Bryony, Dina and Mortimer's daughter, and they had two children together. And Drew um, was a romance sim, so he got around. He had a child with uh, Anna Marie that has now passed as well. Opal, this right here. And he also got married to Eli Burb in his later uh, years and adopted Grant. Grant, who's right here. Then I would play the Burbs, I think. I'm not, I'm not actually sure. I'm just doing, I'm just saying shit. The house that the Burbs used to live in is this one. Now there's only Cyril. He's Lucy's son. So that's Cyril right here. I also have his sister Neve that lives alone here. And his brother Shay that lives with his many, 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 many children. Two of which I, I didn't plan <laughs> and never hoped to have, but I have them. So it's okay. And then I think I would play the Pleasants. I'm not sure, but anyway. So you know what happened to Lilith. I already talked about her. Uh, Angela got with Dirk in the end. She didn't get with Dustin because Lucy did. Together they had two children as well. Most of my most of my couples have two kids. Uh, when they have more than two, it's very like it's worthy of mention. But they <laughs> like like with my boy here, you know, prolific, prolific. Potent not, as I like to say. But yes, usually I would go out and play the Pleasant. So Lilith had twins with Alexander. Angela had two kids with Dirk, Luna, and da, 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 da. let me show you Luna. Luna right here. Luna and Paul. Paul, who I like to call the most useless sim I've ever had, played, met, you, you name it, useless. But he's a fan favorite, you know? He's that type of guy. <laughs> Daniel also slept around being a romance sim and he slept around with Bella and Nina and I thought one of them would eventually get pregnant and one of them eventually did. He had a son with Bella. His name is Gomez. Well, was Gomez. Rest in peace, my boy. Gomez married Izzy. Izzy's right here. Izzy is the daughter of Brandy and John because later in life they married since John and Jennifer's marriage was broken up. And they had Izzy together and Gomez and Izzy got married and they had Astra and Ezra. And wait until you see this. Wait until you see this. There's a baby. Yes. If you didn't watch the the series, I had the hardest time getting these two pregnant. They It just wouldn't work with Risky. It wouldn't work when I actually clicked on Try for Baby. I never do that. And I, I, I clicked on it. And it didn't work. And then I uh, loaded in the family one day and he had to wish to have a baby. And I had them try for a baby about 10 times before it worked. I was about to adopt. Uh, I thought that it just would never work, but it ended up working. So they have a little baby now, but this is Ezra. And yeah, if I'm not mistaken, I think that's it for all the pre-mates. Now I'm going to go into detail with like each family I have, but I'm pretty sure that's it for the pre-mates. Maybe it isn't. I mean, we'll find out as I run my mouth. But let's go in order as I would usually play. So I've told you about Thomason before. She is Alexander and Lita's daughter. Also, I'm sure you've seen the runtime of this video, but I need to warn you, this is going to be a long one. <laughs> so as I wrote in Thomason's bio, she doesn't feel like she's quite a goth. She relates more to her mother, the way that she was, the way that she's very spunky, the, just the way she talks the loudest, laughs the loudest, that she's the 
biggest presence in the room. She feels like she relates more to her mother that way. Tommy is a romance sim. She gets around, as do most romance sims. She has a daughter with Kiernan Tricou. That's her right there, Dahlia. She's on the ballet bar right now. She is quite adorable, but she will be the only child. I've decided that all three of my goth children will only have one child each. So that's done for her. That's the one that she's going to have. But yeah, Tommy used to be getting around with her brother's husband. He wasn't his husband at that point, but she still you know weird but yeah she has a lot of relationships she doesn't really care about who she hurts if she hurts anyone it's not like it's as if it's not of her business and that is very fun to play her brother blake uh he's not her full brother because he is the son of lilith but not of alexander he's the son of fallon cassandra and don's son so yes lilith had an affair and alexander never knew about that but that's okay now. Everyone knows what they need to know and Alexander is dead. So nobody, nobody's hurt, you know? <laughs> nobody's hurt. Yeah, so now he's not Blake Goth anymore. He's Blake Lothario. And he also has a daughter of his own, an alien daughter that he had when he got abducted. And she's very cute. She's a teenager now. You guys have never seen her teenager. She has little stars on her face. She's adorable. She has green eyes. So here's Blake's husband, Roger. Long time before Blake ever met Roger, Roger, he was already getting around and like not being the settled down kind of guy but now he's settled down so he doesn't really have a choice anymore <laughs> and he's not like he's not as miserable as he used to be straight after the wedding but he's also not happy by any means he's, this isn't really fulfilling for him like I said in his bio he feels more burning desire for either his husband's sister than for his husband so you know Mm, he's got two bolts with Vivian, two bolts with Thomason, and one for his husband, you know. Not that physical, like, attraction is everything, but it's a big part of this. And then we have Dahlia. Dahlia is a knowledge sim as well, but she feels like she's being treated by her mother like a doll, kind of like a, a thing to make pretty and show off and i feel like she's gonna blow up at some point that she's gonna get really tired of that because she, that's not really who she is yes yeah, she's very pretty yes yeah, she looks great but that you know that's not all all there is to her she loves blowing things up for fun in science class so you know she recites all the capitals of the world from memory that's why i put her in a shorter less va va voom hair because like it's almost like she's starting to care way less about pleasing her mother with the way that she looks and presents herself. And then we have little Enid. Enid is, as I said before, half alien. In my fiction, aliens in The Sims 2 have like powers that you can't really see. So that's why I said that she's really happy to have her cousins around teaching her how to be human because she used to do weird things that would creep her classmates out. Now she doesn't anymore, but she's an extremely sweet Sim. And as you can see, she is a family Sim. I calculated her aspiration with my new aspiration calculator because usually Virgos would automatically be knowledge sims but with her personality and the values of every category of it she fit more into the family sim aspiration. Now Vivian used to live with her sister in the goth mansion but I had her move into a house of her own because she met someone that she wants to marry and I thought that they should live together into a you know, nice home for their family. Vivian also has one daughter. She has Clover. Clover is the daughter of Mario, who's a townie, and I really don't like him, and I don't even think she knows him. No, she doesn't. So he's right here, Mario Sherman. I don't like him. He's a townie, but I don't like him. And yes, this was not planned, but she's here, and she's... I'm not happy she's here, but I... <laughs> I don't like Mario and yeah so basically what happened is that Vivian organized a birthday party for Clover when she became a teenager and in the middle of the party she started flirting uh, anonymously with ACR with this dude Zach Humphreys who she was friends with at that time <laughs> now is more and the one started rolling in the fall in love and ask on date and get engaged and stuff and so I thought of course I'm gonna do this for you baby girl you can have whatever you want and so now they're engaged and they live together and she wants to marry him he's 
pleasure sim so he's not bothered either way and i did make this house and it was a blast to make it took me hours there's like a basement with windows so that's like you don't need cheats to do this but it's kind of an involved thing to do also added stairs to the basement outside and inside which also was a headache and there's placeholder beds in the meantime while well, there's nobody sleeping there but yeah that was a very fun thing to do i gave clover the most over the top bedroom she has pyroled staircase going up into the attic and she has a bunch of shit like just to herself in the attic it's really cool i thought i should make a house worthy of the goth name so that's why i did that but yes more personally vivian is a lot more of a pushover than our sister is she she takes what people give her and like she figures that she deserves it so that's why it took her a long time to get over mario in the she and I both knew that he was an absolute asshole and she shouldn't give him the time of day at all but you know it took a while for her to stop having wants about him and stop like trying to flirt when she saw him over whatever I had to make them friend zone each other so that it would stop happening. Clover is very unfortunately related to everyone in town so if she gets with anyone it'll have to be a townie but that's not really a problem I've been doing this for a while now and if the families ever start getting overwhelming i'll do I'll, I'll kill people i don't know i'm gonna i'm gonna start a massive fire and just throw people in you know i'll find a way then we have what i like to call the second goth family even though i don't i don't even think anyone is left in this family that has the last name goth but it's fine it's okay harley is the second daughter of cassandra she's the She's also the second child of Darren. Um, she got married to a university dormy that she met in university, obviously. Together they had two children, Devin and Hollis, and they now have four grandchildren, but that's for other families. <laughs> I'll show you everyone that you need to see eventually. None of their kids live with them still. I decided to give the house to Ivy, technically, so once all of the elders are dead. Ivy's gonna keep the house. Ivy is Jenna's daughter. So Jenna is Cassandra and Dawn's second child. She is the youngest. She has two daughters of her own. Ivy, which I already talked about, who lives here. And Florence, who has just, just, just gone to university. She hasn't started studying yet. Actually, she's just in the dorms waiting. <laughs> Ivy, uh, since the last time we've seen her, has had two children. Yes two in one single round i was kind of freaking out but i'm gonna cut them off at two uh her husband ricky is a family sim and he's very pushy about having kids so they've had two very quickly they've had rhiannon and salem so you can see that they were both in succession since it's r and s <laughs> i name all of my sims in alphabetical order i don't know why i do this it's fun so don't you know don't try to look deeper than that harley's a knowledge sam she grew up in the dreamer household with her father's influence mostly and she tends to be the smartest person in a room she's also very cut very fit she's active and she's an excellent influence on her grandchildren wade is a fortune sim so he's very money oriented he lost his job recently and worked his ass off to get back to the level of ceo and he's gonna get right back to the top like he used to be like this is what the money drives him more than the job but it's a question of uh status <laughs> jenna is a roman sim and she is probably the sim that i've had get around the most she's very very busy <laughs> both of her daughters were had um by surprise but you know it's all good it's all good jenna puts on a very stupid facade so that people don't really challenge her but she's about she's as smart as her sister she's just better at hiding it and better at pretending that she's not <laughs> ivy is also a knowledge sim like her aunt she's the kind of sim that wants to do everything she wants to write she wants to work she wants to have a family she wants to make money she wants to be known she, like, she wants too many things at once that it's not possible to do everything which is why she's not quite happy in her life because nothing seems to fulfill her part in particular but we're working on that now since the kids are done i'm gonna be able to work on more uh, professional things ricky used to be just a bartender around town uh, that ivy would see every time she went out and now he's her husband <laughs> 
he works in the showbiz career. I imagine that he was working bartending jobs in between like little gigs. And he's still awaiting the big break, but I'm pretty sure it'll come at some point. Then you got little Rhiannon here and little Salem on the bed right here. Rhiannon just has Ivy's face. She has the exact same features, exact same colors. That's great. <laughs> All right, then I would usually go and play the Pleasant family right here. Astra was related to everyone in town, so she had to marry a townie, and she got with Spencer Duhamel, which I affectionately call SDD, and some people call STD, and I can understand why. Also, oh, this is exciting to talk about. I haven't talked about that yet. Um, Izzy and Luna kind of, um, you know, <laughs> I mean, I got two old ladies, one divorced, one widow, you know, they just, they can be together if they want to. <laughs> so yeah, they're engaged now. <laughs> I'm happy for them. They both wanted to get married again. So you can get married to each other. That's fine. Spencer is married to Astra. He's got four children. No, five. He's got five. God. I mean, I need to, I need to count my blessings. In some people's games, he's got like 10 kids, so it's okay, it's fine. So his first child, Kieran, was had with Neve, her only child, and the other four were with his wife, Astra. Ramona's gone to college, so she's not home right now. They have Graham, who lives with them still because he's a teenager, and the new additions to the family, the surprise, very, very, very surprising twins, Vanellope and Timothy. Esther's trying to teach Vanellope to talk right now, but she doesn't seem like she's having much of it. Izzy was always very much living to be a wife, living to be a mother, living to serve the household. And now that her husband's gone, she was kind of misguided. But I think with Luna's help, she will like learn to think about herself again. I also changed the house a lot, if you didn't notice or if you never saw this house before uh, I changed it a lot added a lot of space because I needed it for twins but it's all good it's all good Spencer is a bit sleazy but not as much as he could be at least in my game he still has the Romans going with me of he's never broken that off but he also never cheated on his wife after the marriage or even after they they like started dating he's gotten older he's an elder so his kids are very young compared to how old he is but as i said before the twins were not planned at all and they were very very surprising the passing of astra's father hit her very hard even though she's a family sim i'm pretty sure that she would have like considered not keeping the twins at first but also since she's a family sim i also knew that she would never be able to go through with it which is why i had her have them because Usually I stop my sims at two kids and three is pushing it. So four, I re like I really got to have a good reason to make it happen. But I thought that she would never, like she, she'd never get rid of them. So she had them and then she was miserable about it because I locked the fear to have a baby. So that was funny. Their son, Graham, is a teenager. Uh, there's no one in town that he can date because he's related to everyone, unfortunately. So he wants his first kiss and stuff, but it's not happening, buddy. And he's a family sim and he's very ready to have a family. Like I said in his bio, like he already knows that he's gonna have three children. He's already named them in his head and his wife is going to look like Princess Daisy. So that's that on that. And since I spoke about his mother and his sister, I can go into Ezra's family and show you the most desired baby. Here's little Wednesday, like the Adams family. So yes, they had the hardest time conceiving, but she's here, she exists. <laughs> so unlike his sister with her four kids, he's only gonna have one because <laughs> it was already so hard having one. Ezra is more into like working and partying, but at a healthy balance. He was the one who wanted a baby. He's more, a little more family oriented than uh, Linda is, Linda, his wife, but they get along so well and they usually want pretty much the same thing so in the end they have a pretty peaceful marriage and they were both very happy about the child but yes Linda is more of the party girl she is a pleasure sim she always wants to party and go out and she's very curt she's very sincere and she's not like soft about it so she can have trouble making friends but 
it hasn't been a problem in the mirror so far and yeah that's it so i can show you little wednesday again put her into the pink socks and pink hat oh i love babies and then let's log into the dreamer family so well dreamer there's not a single person named dreamer in here but that's what the household name says <laughs> yeah so faith frickrith and isaiah all live together as one unit one couple of three people they sleep in separate bedrooms i cannot do much about this but they switch like sometimes faith and isaiah will be in the bed here sometimes it'll be frickrith and isaiah sometimes it'll be faith and frickrith you know they 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 do a rotation <laughs> basically and this is like the the woohoo room because all of them also have people on the side and nobody cares about all, any of that it's an understanding that they all have with each other so as i explained before faith is the child of kimberly and chester chester has passed away unfortunately so she only has her mother left but her mom doesn't live here anymore she lives in the old condo that she used to share with chester so now Faith has the house to herself and Faith also has a bun in the oven. <laughs> it was bound to happen and it is bound to happen again. I am going to have her have a child with each of the men that she shares her life with. Right now she's pregnant with Isaiah and next is she's going to be pregnant with Frickrith. So yes, I'm very happy about that. Faith is a romance sim. She's the one that came up with the idea to like, like all of them date at once. Cause at first Frickrith was not very happy to share her, but she never like, that was just never a question. If she was to have a relationship with someone, it had to be an understanding that she would not do mon monogamy. So that's the, agreement that they came to and I think everyone is happy in that agreement at least so far. Faith doesn't take life very seriously. If you have a problem with her she will probably not care at all. Frickrith is more like neurotic. <laughs> he's more stressed, he's anxious, he overthinks everything, has not gotten over the emo phase. He would have come with me to the My Chemical Romance concert if I asked him to. You know, he's my man, he's my boy and Isaiah is just uh, He's just so hot. Like there's, there's just nothing else to say about him. It's just so madly hot. Yeah. <laughs> so that's, that's it about this family. Now let's go check in on Kimberly. Kimberly is Faith's mother and she's recently widowed, but, but she went back to an old lover, Sam Watts, and she started rolling more serious ones. So I assume that that's what she wanted. And now she wants to get married to him. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And no matter how much Chester hurt her by cheating on her and running away when it got tough, um, she still felt like she would never find a love like this again. And even though she very much wants this relationship with Sam, she also knows deep down that it's not going to compare. Like she really feels that she had met the love of her life somehow because really girl that you didn't but anyway i mean she had three bolts with chester so that seems to scramble the brain a little bit but <laughs> that's understandable <laughs> but yeah sam is a nice guy you know he's just the, uh, the the first guy that she ever like kissed i think from university he was a dormy so that's i mean that's nice for her i'm happy for her <laughs> But yeah, she loves painting like her father, but she's also a popularity sim and she's into the politics career. So she's kind of intense about that as well. She's very, very career oriented and she's the mayor of the city. So that's cool. Okay, here's Willow. Willow is the daughter of Eli Burb and her mother was a townie that has passed away, unfortunately, in a tragic TV repairing accident. But yes, her father was the son of Jennifer and John, and she has a son herself uh, named Heath. And Heath is very cute. He looks like a mix between human Shrek and a Cabbage Patch Kid baby. What is it the Cabbage Patch Babies? Is that what they're called? Anyway, he's like, he doesn't have any rights being that cute. And now... Angel is an adult, so the relationship is broken up, but he and Angel are very much in love. So as soon as he's an adult as well, I'm getting that back on 
you know, we're getting back on it. And yeah, I think they've just like found each other and they're gonna be together forever. <laughs> of course, you know, that's usually how my Pleasant View goes. Everything goes right and everyone is in love forever. <laughs> but Willow's a special one. She's like, she's kind of a Pinterest mom. She wants to be picture perfect and she considers having a child like a, a hobby. Like, I see her as not being able to actually talk about important things with her son and like forcing his father to do it for her, even though Heath and his father don't really have a relationship. So it's really awkward, but Willow is like not able to connect with motherhood past being a mom. Like the fact of being a mom, like she doesn't consider her son to be a full person, more like an extension of herself. So I'm very curious to see what happens with him when he grows up. And his father is also that man, Morgan Malone, that, um, you know, he's not like mad at or he's not like indifferent to him, but they're not like they're not even considered friends. So it's a bit weird, but it's okay. Also, I have a very funny picture of Heath and Angel's first kiss. And I need to show you that picture right now. <laughs> I thought the first overview video was long. God, this one is gonna be so much longer. <laughs> Niv is my hit woman. She probably has the highest body count. I think I maybe said that about Jenna earlier, but no, I think it's Niv that has the highest body count. She has one son. Miraculously, she only got pregnant once. She really doesn't like the fact that she's a grandma. She does not vibe with that at all, but she's a grandma twice now. <laughs> So congrats, I guess, Nini. <laughs> she's one of my favorite sims I've ever had, I think. She's one of Dustin and Lucy's children. She's their first daughter. Now you can really tell that she has Dustin's nose. <laughs> in her older years, she, she really liked that nose, kind of took room in her face, but she's still very, very pretty. She's one of the prettiest sims I've ever had, I'm sure. She's a very simple sim. She's unapologetic. She knows what she's about and she knows what she's doing. She's romance, so she knows what she wants and that's good. So let's keep going with Lucy and Dustin's children. So Shay right here is their second child, their first son. He's also a romance sim like his sister, but he's also secondary family. And as you can see right here, he wants another baby. But as I've told him before, you couldn't do anything to me that would make me do that. They already have way too many <laughs> kids. Roisin, his wife, used to be married to Ryder Broke, but Ryder died tragically from sickness. Ryder was Bo and Bryony's son, Bryony being the daughter of Dina and Mortimer. I repeat who some sims are pretty often because if they're not pre-made, sometimes I know that it gets really confusing. So I prefer repeating than making people feel confused. So yeah, Ryder passed away, unfortunately, but him and Roisin had time to have a son, Orlando, and then Roisin got married to Ryder's cousin, Shay. So that's kind of wrong, but that's, it's okay, you know, what, you know, you can stay in the family. It's all good. <laughs> and together they had three children. Only one of them was planned. <laughs> Jacob was the first uh, kid that they had, obviously, since he's a teenager. And they then had Leonardo and Kira, who were twins. Another batch of surprise twins. <laughs> I love those. And now so far, since Jacob is still a teenager, the only one of Roisin's children that has done anything like get married or have children is Orlando. He's had a son with Lottie that you've seen in the last episode, little Oscar. And they're now married and living together in the Triku house. So Shay's new life as a family man is very new and very shocking still to him. And that also was not my plan for him at all until Ryder died and I thought of doing this. You know, he's not very quick. He's not anything special, but he's happy with Roisin and he wants to keep it that way. So he's not trying to jeopardize anything. He's broken up all of the past relationships that he's had to keep his wife. So he's really committed to this. His secondary aspiration is family. So he was really happy to have his children, even though he didn't want to change any diapers. That was kind of wrong of him. But now they're children, so I'm free from this curse. I don't have to change any diapers anymore. And both of the twins are copies of their moms. They both have Roisin's entire face, which is all well and good. And now the third and last of Lucy and Dustin's children is Cyril. Cyril was married to a townie named Monique for many, many years. They had two daughters together, Savannah and Isidore. But 
uh, happiness cannot always last, especially in this pleasant view. And Monique started to look elsewhere for her fun because she was dissatisfied with her life and she wanted some more thrills. So she started seeing other people behind Cyril's back and he found out and the way he found out was by seeing her make out with his nephew at the park so yeah and now well his ex-wife is married to his nephew and they've had a child together so that's cool <laughs> so since his divorce he started seeing laverne maxwell they just have a crush so far but i'm gonna see where this goes now he's more into like being friends with this valerie woman so i'm gonna see where that goes as well so the girls uh, savannah is a family sim she's more of the reserved quiet type her sister is a pleasure sim and she's a lot more spunky a lot like she's a lot <laughs> just in general she's a lot and she's currently dating Billy, uh, Vodo and, and Hollis's son that I'm going to show you eventually. So that's cool for her. She she also has her mother's face uh, copy and paste, copied and pasted on. So that's cool. <laughs> and Savannah looks a lot more like her dad. Cyril is the one that I find looks the most like Dustin. He's just like a brown hair to Dustin, but that's okay. And yeah, he was really blindsided by that. He's always felt like he was in the perfect marriage and that they had the picture perfect family, but he didn't marry the woman that he thought he did. <laughs> or not quite, at least. And now for the Dreamer family. Believe it or not, Paul got off his ass and rolled the one to get married, and so he got married. Maggie is his wife after something like 30 years together. Finally, she's his wife. I picture Paul to be more of the stoner kind, like, he just really does not give a shit about anything. I imagine him as quite lazy, sort of a like couch potato. He's got that dreamer spirit in him. He likes to paint and shit, but you know, other than that, he just slugs around and he doesn't have a job. So he slugs around a lot. <laughs> Maggie is a working woman. She's always been. She works in the paranormal career and she likes everything that has to do with paranormal. She likes tarot cards. She likes aliens. She likes ghosts. She likes all of that shit. Like I said, I wrote that before they got married and I wrote three years ago she forgot they were engaged and she asked her tarot cards if she should stay with him and she pulled the tower reversed, which if you know... <laughs> But yeah, they ended up getting married and it's going okay so far. I like, didn't get married a long time ago. It's pretty recent. Victoria is their daughter and she's a party girl. She doesn't care about shit and I like her that way. <laughs> I'm happy she doesn't. She's been having this little fling with Wyatt oldie. I'm gonna show you Wyatt um, pretty soon. But yeah, she's been having this little thing with him and with Isaiah and probably with Frickereth as well. Like she's... She's very free and very open-minded. And I guess you can see it in the way that she dresses. She just doesn't care. Also, she has Dina's face. She just has Dina's face. That is Dina Caliente, but with red hair. And it's wild because the jeans come, like, the jeans are from way far ahead. Like, Dina is her great-grandma? Yeah, because Bryony is her grandma, so Dina's her great-grandma. That is a long way down. <laughs> to keep the exact same face and exact same features. That means Maggie also has the exact same face as Dina and her mother also had the exact same face as Dina. That's a long way down. But yeah, that's my little Victoria and I feel like she's gonna bring a lot of trouble to my Pleasant View. I expect her to. Now I'm in the second Dreamer family. So uh, Luna is Paul's sister. She's a lot less useless than he is. <laughs> she had two children with, well, two biological children with her ex-husband, Rick Hawkins. And if you know Rick Hawkins, you know he's the scum of the earth. But that's okay. Some men need to be. Who's getting murdered? So her first son is Leo, who's now Leo Oldie. He used to be Leo Hawkins. Her second son, Pierce, Pierce Hawkins. And her third son, who she adopted after getting divorced, Angel. So their father is Rick Hawkins there. He's an asshole. Don't look at him too long. You're going to burn your retinas. <laughs> Leo is married to June Oldie. June, who's the daughter of Opal and Abe. Opal 
is the daughter of Daru, who's the unborn baby broke, and Anna Marie Oldie. Anna Marie is the adopted daughter of Coral and Herb, the second adopted daughter. Her sister Mary Sue died in a kitchen fire, like on round two, when I started playing Mag Pleasant View. So she's been an only child pretty much all her life, and she only had one daughter, Opal. So June. Opal's daughter is married to Leo and they have a son together. His name is Charlie and he's right there dancing at the piano. Look at me. Look at me, Charlie. 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 <laughs> Charlie bit me. That really hurts. <laughs> and here's my angel. His name is Angel and he's my angel. So here he is. Hello. But he looks very, very, very passionate about his piano playing right now but I think Angel is one of my favorite sims I have right now in my pleasant field. I'm like obsessed with him, but that's okay. You know, we all need obsessions. Like Luna is absolutely obsessed with children, having them, raising them, and like caring for them. Luna is engaged to Izzy, like I said before, so that's something that's going on. <laughs> um, but when she was married to Rick, she was very much into being the perfect housewife, and still keeping a career on the side and making money for the family and like staying strong and shit even when everything like when it hit the fan and she found out that he was cheating on her she kept him around for a long time even after that until the end of the round before she divorced him and that was really hard on her that whole like period of time but she's much better now leo is a bit uh he's a family sim as well but he's a bit misguided he used to date lottie a bit as a teenager but then she didn't want to be official with him so he started seeing june and then she also didn't want to be official with him but she's still the one that he kept rolling once for but once in a while he'll roll the random one to flirt with lottie and i'll be like dude you gotta let it go or else i'm gonna break your marriage and you don't want to make june angry because june may look like a really really sweet girl but she's a criminal and she's not very nice at all <laughs> if you want to slap in the face maybe maybe do cheat on her maybe that's her kick maybe you like being slapped in the face i don't know i'm not i'm not king shaming but yes to june this whole situation is much more of a financial agreement than it is a relationship marriage and like a love situation she does love her husband but she's a lot happier about living in a big house and being like safe and comfortable financially that's that's more what she's after and my sweet angel is a family sim as well but as i've mentioned before he's been having a relationship with Heath, so he's probably not going to have any natural children well he's an adoptee so i don't see him having any objections to that but yes he's very sweet very nice with everyone he's the perfect family boy you know, and his mother relied on him a lot when she adopted him because she was just recently divorced and he's got a lot of weight on his shoulders his entire life. So now I'm going to make sure that he gets to breathe a little bit. <laughs> so now this family, this is Devin. Devin is the daughter of Harley and Wade, Harley being the daughter of Cassandra and Darren. She married Grant. Grant is the adopted son of Drew and Eli Burp. And together they have two children. Their son Theo is in the bin to go to university if I'm not mistaken and their daughter Meredith is just a child so she's still living here in the home. She's a child now and she has the exact same face as her father. Devin is an excellent journalist. She is not that career oriented but she likes a project she's always busy she's a popularity sim she has parties as often as she can every birthday is an event she has her parents over all the time to help take care of the kids but also just to have them around you know for fun i have changed this house a lot when meredith became a child and needed a bedroom of her own so i did what i wanted to do uh, previously and like built another bedroom off the back of Theo's old bedroom but now that he's gone to college the bedroom is like empty. <laughs> Grant, her husband, is currently naked. I'm sorry Grant, I'm gonna move away. Grant, yes as I said before, has been adopted by Eli and Drew. He's a popularity sim as well 
like his wife so they get along very well on that front he also works very hard he's a very high level in his career and this family is basically very i want to say picture perfect but it's not just picture perfect it's just very peaceful to play this family nothing really like threatens to go wrong it's just going pretty well there's nilicit in the triku family that keeps wanting to flirt with grant but she never has so far and i don't think if she did it would cause much trouble I, I mean i don't know i'll keep you guys posted if it happens but i don't think it will but yeah they're two very friendly party people they like having people over and finding excuses to <laughs> celebrate things and now for the main hood, I'm going to finish it off with both of the Shriku families and then we're going to go into downtown to see the families that live in the apartments. So here we have Janelle and Vornan, their daughter Lottie, Mag and Loud. Um, they also have a son, of course, Frickrith, that now lives away from them. But Lottie lives in the house with them and her now husband, Orlando. Oh. They have a son already. Uh, Lottie got pregnant while they were in university. Yes. And that was very fun. <laughs> but you can see that if you watch the last episode of my Pleasant View series. Because that's when it happened. They are very recently married. They got married um, at the end of last round. So like the, today technically. They got married in the yard here. I didn't even take the buffet down. The food is so good. You see how recent this is. <laughs> Orlando is still trying to find himself. He flunked out of college. He's working in the architecture career, but he's not like, I don't know if that's what he really wants to do in life. Like now he wants to have a baby, but I don't know if it's just because he got married and like kind of feels like that's what he needs to do. Maybe, because I feel like he would be really susceptible to like this kind of suggestion. <laughs> Since um, his father died when he was so young, he does feel a pressure to like keep the legacy going he's also got the exact same face that his father did and also the exact same face that Bo has so that is being carried along <laughs> but that's also a lot of pressure being the only person in the world that looks like someone else and like kind of has to pass that down but it's okay because his wife is very pretty Mag and Loud is probably the prettiest sim I've ever seen I know I said that Neve was the prettiest sim I'd ever had but like Lottie is almost too pretty she's like you can I, you cannot even com comprehend the face like she's so pretty who gave her the right to do that their son Oscar has just become a child and I think he looks like his mom more than his dad and I'm excited to see the next child that these two have because they're gonna have two and that's gonna be it <laughs> and I'm also excited to see if this relationship lasts at all seeing as it was quick wedding and they had a child in university very much unplanned so that's usually not the best of starts but it can be a not so bad start as we'll see in this family because Vodwen and Hollis also had a child in university so in this family we have Kiernan and Illicit so as I said before Kiernan also has his daughter Dahlia but lives with his wife and his daughter's uh, family their relationship isn't doing the best. Like I said, Nilisit, like she doesn't have the want right now, but she often rolls the want to flirt with um, Grant. And Kiernan, of course, sleeps around. He's a romance sim. He even got like Izzy fooled and Vivian fooled for a little bit. So he's, you know, he goes after weak women that like will not say no to him because they just want to feel something, anything. So it's not great. <laughs> Nilisit, other than wanting to shag uh, Grant, is pretty great. <laughs> She's doing okay. Vodwin is a style icon. She goes through many phases, but now she settled, I think, on this more punky look that I gave her. She and Hollis met in university, fell in love very quickly, had a child in university, and got married pretty much like straight out of it. And their first son, Billy, is now a teenager and is even soon to be an adult in um, dating Isidore. Yeah, that's the little Billy. Billy looks like his, uh, his aunt a lot. He looks like Harley a lot, which is cool. I like when faces get passed down and then you only like recognize them some generations down, like with Faith and Victoria. Like I never found that Bryony and Maggie looked 
particularly like Dina, but when I look at Victoria, it's like a hit in the face how much she looks like her. So I don't know, sometimes it happens. I don't think that Alice looks like his mother that much, but Billy looks like Harley a lot. And they've had their second son, little Brandon. Brandon, who's trying to figure out the peg box right now. When I left you last with this family, uh, Vodwin was still pregnant. So here is the little pawn that came out of that. <laughs> He's an Aries, so will most likely be a popularity sim, and Billy is a family sim. So Isadora needs to get ready for probably some kids early in life. I don't know if that's gonna like do anything. That's gonna be the rest of their lives, but we'll see, we'll see. Okay, so we went through every family in the main hood, so let's go into downtown to see what we got there. So in the downtown, I have my families that either have less money or are just fresh out of university and needed a place to stay quickly. I got Pierce here, the second son of Luna and Rick Hawkins. He also got his girlfriend pregnant in university. That seems to be something that my Sims love doing as of late. But there's a big problem. He's a family Sim. She's a Roman Sim. He doesn't know the extent of like how much of a Roman Sim she is. He just wanted to marry her and stuff. And now he wants to have a baby and he's going to have that baby <laughs> but she's not going to be happy about that because having a baby was never something that she wanted to do and now like poppy is here but uh, I, I don't think she would want to have a second one and i don't think they talked about it so i don't think she's going to be very happy but yes poppy was had um straight out of college so she's pretty old for how old her parents are she's even a little bit older than Oscar. And she looks like her dad a lot, but she aged up into a much more reasonable face. When she was a toddler, she was terrifying. So was her dad. When he was a toddler, he was terrifying. It's okay, it's the little beady eyes. It's, that, that, that's what's so scary, but she's okay. Yes, her mother was a townie that I made myself. She was one of the teenage townies that I had walking around. And I don't think she's going to be very happy about the arrangement that they have. They are also very recently married. They got married on the last day of the round, I think. And it was not her best moment. But she she said yes to getting engaged. So she's the one. Like, it's that's her fault. It's all her fault. <laughs> but yeah, I think Pierce is going to get very blindsided by what's going to happen next because it's not going to be pretty but you know it's his right to think that everything's going right she agreed to marry him she agreed to live with him she kept his child you know i think he's in his right to like get ideas but yeah i'm not sure yet if i'm letting this child be born i know this sounds wrong but it, it really depends how she reacts and what kind of wants she rolls and also if he finds out anything about what she's been doing behind his back or anything like that because that would change everything then in this family we have another fan favorite my little baby girl nelly she is the first daughter of maggie and paul so she has very famous grandparents <laughs> she's such a sweet girl she's so so sweet she married that guy that random guy that she fell in love with as a teenager and had her first kiss with she's over the moon they just tied the knot they have this beautiful two-story apartment they adopted a kitten because i felt like they would want to take their time with this like they're not going to have a baby straight after getting married they wanted to have a cat first you know have a responsibility to see if it works if they can deal with it and so far it's been going pretty well although you know the kitten is very young also the kitten is named raymond i haven't shown that yet because i don't think it's been very like um <laughs> meaningful or anything but I name all of my cats and dogs after Animal Crossing characters. So this one is Raymond. And Preston, Nellie's husband, is half alien. He's got alien eyes. So I hope if they have children that I'm going to get some alien eyes. You know, a little bit of fun. And I also think I gave him the alien skin as a recessive. So that's something that we could see pop up. And yeah, I mean, the next thing for these two would be having a kid. And I don't know if I'm going to have that happen too soon because i've had a lot of unplanned pregnancies so i'd like my next planned pregnancy to be really taught out and like 
happen in in right time like not out of nowhere and i'm also thinking of having um more of my couples have a single child because sooner rather than later i'm going to start having way too many sims to take care of now the duhamel family this is my favorite to play currently because it's the most dramatic kieran is absolutely out of his mind he doesn't know the right priorities all that he's thinking about is what he wants and i'm also locking have a baby but i'm not telling you who he's gonna have a baby with shocker shocker it will not be his wife but <laughs> yeah he's very 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 misguided and um he doesn't like he doesn't know who or what he wants all he knows is like he's going by instinct um his first son he had with his high school girlfriend janae it was a semi-accident, like he had the want to have a baby, so I made it happen because I play wants based. So if they have a want to do something like this, like have a baby, I'm not going to risky woohoo. I'm going to click on try for baby, you know? So it was semi-random, but it was not random. And um, then they found out together that it would not work. They weren't getting along and Nova was suffering the consequences of that. So th they decided to split and Kieran started seeing Monique behind her husband's back and they got found out. And so Monique and Cyril divorced and she married Kieran, um, even though he's much, much younger than she is. And now they have a son together adam who's standing there in his little tuxedo hello adam <laughs> anyway this was nova's bedroom but now he's gone to live the next round with his mother because i'm gonna have them raise him one round each so kieran had nova for his toddlerhood so he was the one to teach him skills and stuff i think even monique taught him one skill but now she's focusing on her own son and that relationship is also not going to last very long because Kieran has the sights set on Thalia next. This is my little fiction for him that he's going to have three kids out of three different women <laughs> because he, he's not quite there. I, I don't know. I get the vibe from him that he really doesn't know what's good for him and he doesn't care who he hurts as long as he gets what he wants and what he wants seems to change very quickly. <laughs> that marriage is not going to last a long time and Monique is going to get what's coming to her because she, you know, at, at the same time she has a rebound, like Mario is into her and shit. She, she, she was really doing weird, weird things. She kind of deserves it, honestly. Remember when she tried to make out with Rick Hawkins in that dressing room? That was weird. And the last apartment is Janae, so uh, the aforementioned ex-girlfriend of Kieran and her son Nova that's gonna live with her the whole round he's just freshly freshly a child so I've changed a bedroom here to make it like more fit for a child with a child bed so Janae never wanted what happened to her she she kind of accepted it because she was dating the father so it was fine in that context but she never really wanted that life to be a mother so young but she's still gonna own up to it and raise her son and be there for him. On the side, she's always had a little thing with Frickerith, but that's okay because like none, none of the parties are gonna mind that at all. But she has other options that she thinks are attractive, like Darren here. So like her life is not over. <laughs> she still has things to do, but yeah, she's a townie, so she doesn't have any parents or anything. All that she has is her son. And Nova is a straight up cutie. He's so so adorable he looks like her a lot and he's a very very sweet kid he's a cancer also so it's probably going to be a family sim but yeah he's very sweet so i'm excited to see what happened to him and what kind of things his mother is getting into as well because <laughs> i feel like not everything is going to go well for her and i just realized also i forgot to show you one of the families in the actual pleasant view so I'm going to show you this family. This is the oldie family. In the oldie tradition, the husbands take the name of the wives. So Opal got to keep her name and her husband Abe took her name. Her husband was a townie, a dormie actually to be more precise. And originally he had a relationship with Niamh, but he met Opal later after that and they fell in love. And he rolled once for her and not for Niamh, so... That's the reason why they ended up together, because I play one space, as I've said before. <laughs> I need ones to do things. So Opal is the daughter of Anna Marie Andrew, so she's a broke and a oldie. 
she had June with her husband pretty soon in through their marriage and they had Zach a little bit later uh, while Abe was himself pregnant with an alien because he got abducted on complete accident randomly like I got Blake to um, to look for aliens but Abe was just looking through the telescope like he was just stargazing and it happened twice I'm not even kidding like look dude got God again but as an elder so it didn't do anything <laughs> but like he got God again so yes they have two boys twins technically because they were born on the same day but not twins at all because they were not in the same womb and also don't have the same parents Wyatt is a lover boy he's already got two girls he's kissed Florence but somehow does not like he made out with Florence but somehow does not have any flag with her but anyway that is that is something that's happening and he's also wooed with Victoria twice now so like they're really a thing so he's going to be my lover boy he's going to be the one that just sleeps with everyone and that's fine we need one of those every generation and Zach is so sweet looking and he's a family sim so he's much more into like loving and respecting women than his brother is but uh, since he's actually the child the son of Opal unlike Wyatt he's related to everyone that Wyatt is sleeping with so he cannot get in on the the, the fun <laughs> like he's friends with Ramona here but he cannot actually do anything with her because she's a distant cousin and that's the case with every sim in the neighborhood so i'm working on some townies i'm working on jasmine maybe he could get with her i mean i don't know we'll see we'll see who he gets with but that is that that is going to be the product of his life opal is a gamer she works in the gamer career and she's rootless in that domain but other than that she's very sweet she's very devoted to her family abe is like more of a a lap dog like he'll just take whatever you throw at him he's very much of a yes man <laughs> he's a wife man also he loves his wife so much but he also loves aliens being taken by them he loves everything that has to do with that <laughs> see this is creepy or not creepy i don't know it's your it's your call also yes anna marie died at the beginning of the round so she's not in the family anymore she's just recently passed away and she was my first sim ever in this pleasant view to get a grandchild while still being alive because june had a baby with leo so she had a grandchild living while she was also living and now last but not least i have these three kids that i'm going to play with very soon to finish their university round and have them move back in pleasant view I don't know why Ramona and Florence are basically wearing the same outfit. Like, I don't know why they coordinated that. I'm going to change them out of that <laughs> because that is not the kind of look that I want them to have, no matter how f like sexy and free they feel. I don't think it's right. So Victoria is Jenna's daughter. She's Tim's daughter. Tim is the guy that I was trying to get Thomas and pregnant with, but it wouldn't work. And then Jenna got pregnant with him. So I mean, you know, everything happens for a reason. Then Ramona is the oldest child of Astra and Spencer Duhamel. And Theo is Devin and Grant's son. He's already that big. I don't know why, but Theo to me will always be like a kid. But now he's big. He's like a big man. That is so weird to me. There's just some Sims that I will never stop seeing as kids. And some others that I just have no problem at all seeing as like grown. I don't know. There's something psychological behind that. <laughs> these uh these sims are just like growing into like being people and having personalities but uh i'm out i'm already excited about what they're gonna do i feel like ramona would completely reject the the concept of being a mother and like being a woman that has to give birth and has to find a man to love her and shit like she she's just way too much of a free spirit for that and florence is a romance sim just like her mom so she's going to also be very 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 free and very wild so we'll see what happens with that. And Theo is a fortune sim, so he reminds me a lot of his grandfather. Maybe he'll be an opportunist just like his grandfather was and marry into a rich family and get his comeuppance that way. So yeah, sorry about the length of this video. <laughs> I am gonna do another one of these when I am 100 years or maybe 105 years into this pleasant view. I think these videos are really fun to make and also fun to watch. Maybe at that length it's a, it's more of a chore, but I don't know, you tell me. <laughs> I've watched longer videos. <laughs> but yes, if you like this, uh, you can stick around. I make videos 
not that often, but still quite often. Um, but yeah, I love you and I care about you. Please follow me on all of my social medias. They will be linked down below, as well as my Kofi if that is something that could interest you. I'm going to post the second episode of my Veronaville Strange Town series probably around the end of September, so stay tuned for that. Bye bye.